in this video we will understand the inner sphere reaction mechanism so we have studied about the outer sphere reaction mechanism in our previous video and in this we will see the inner sphere reaction mechanism this also takes place in the coordination complexes and in this case the electron transfer takes place through a bridging ligand it means the electron transfer requires the bond there is a bridging ligand the two coordination compound will be connected by a bridging ligand and via this the electron transfer the redox reaction will takes place so in this way the coordination sphere of the metals is altered in some what way an important example of this type is the reaction between the pentaamine cobalt third complex and the hexaequo chromium complex when these two complexes are reacted in the acidic medium then two different complexes it means hexaequo cobalt complex and pentaequo chromium complexes are formed now if you look at the reaction you will find that in this case this cobalt complex here the cobalt was in the plus 3 oxidation state and chromium was in the plus 2 oxidation state now here the cobalt is in plus 2 oxidation state and chromium is in plus 3 oxidation state it means the electron has been transferred from this complex from this to the this it means the electron is transferring from the chromium second to the cobalt third and this will take place via this chloride ligand this will act as the bridging ligand we will see in its mechanism that when these two complexes it means co and s3 all 5 cl plus 2 and crs2 whole 6 plus 2 reacts together then they form co h2 whole 6 plus 2 and crs2 whole 5 cl plus 2 complexes and in this case electron is transferred from here to here via a bridging chloride ligand now in this case the cobalt complex was inert and it is a low spin d6 complex while the chromium complex was labile with the high spin d4 state now when the products are formed the cobalt complex becomes labile with d7 high spin state while the chromium complex becomes inert with the d3 configuration the first definite proof of the mechanism of this reaction was given by the tobe and his co-workers and in the mechanism of the inner sphere reactions what happens the two complexes the two complexes are connected via a bridging ligand and the electron transfer then takes place through this ligand so we will see the mechanism in different steps the first step will be the dissociation of water from the labile complex what was the labile complex the labile complex was the chromium complex that was in the reduced form it means the chromium was here in the plus 2 oxidation state so this complex will undergo a equilibrium reaction that is a fast reaction and it will dissociate it will remove one of the h2o ligand so it will form cr h2 whole 5 plus 2 complex now in the second step what will happen the formation of the bridging activated complex will takes place it means this complex that was formed will now react with the hexa pentaamine cobalt complex CO and S3 whole 5 CL plus 2 with this this complex will react and what will happen an activated complex will form like this in which this chlorine is present between the cobalt and the chromium two metals and here this chlorine is between these two it is acting as a bridge between cobalt and the chromium so this activated complex is formed the third step will be the electron transfer followed with the dissociation of the activated complex it means in this activated complex this the electron will be transferred from the chromium to the cobalt here chromium was in the plus 2 oxidation state and cobalt was in the plus 3 oxidation state so one electron is transferred from here to here as a result of this now this cobalt is in the reduced form plus 2 and chromium is in plus 3 oxidation state now what will happen the electron has been transferred after that here will be the hydrolysis in the acidic medium as a result of this 
two complexes will be formed. One is CrH2 whole 5 Cl plus 2 and another will be CONH3 whole 5 H2, uh, H2O plus 2. Now this will further undergo this will this complex will further undergo the hydrolysis and it will form coh2 whole 6 plus 2 complex and 5 nh4 plus ions will also formed so we will get the cobalt in the reduced form and here this chromium comes in the plus 3 oxidation state it means it has been oxidized and this cobalt has been reduced now there are some points that should be noted in the in the regard of the inner sphere reaction mechanism and the first important point is that the electron transfer that is from the cr plus 2 to co plus 3 and the ligand transfer it means the chloride ion transfer that is from the co to the cr are mutually interdependent processes it means both of them are dependent on each other no one is possible without each other it means both will take simultaneously and another point is that the bridging ligands must have at least two lone pair of electrons either they may be on the same atom or they may be on the different atoms so the presence of the two lone pair of electrons is very important for a ligand to be brazed because why are these electrons the redox reaction proceeds now we see the rate of the reaction for the halide brazing it means when the halide ions act as the brazing ligand then how the rate of the reaction is affected by the presence of different halides and it has been found that the rate of the reaction is slowest when the fluoride ions are acting as the ligand as the brazing ligand and it increases as we use chloride ions then for the bromide ions and then for the iodide ions it means the rate of the reaction is fastest, fastest for the iodide ligands why it happens because as the size of the ligand size of the halide ions increases the rate of the reaction also increases and this increases is due to the increasing polarizability because in this sequence the polarizability of the ions is also increasing simultaneously this is the least polarizable and the iodide ion you know at it, it is the highest polarizable ion so why this polarizability affects the rate of the reaction we can understand it with the help of this diagram in this diagram we can see these are the two these are the two nucleus two metals that are brazed by this ligand this is any halide ligand suppose it is an iodide ligand it is larger it is an iodide ligand then it is acting as a bridge between these two metals so as a result of this there is a polarizability the plus charge appears on this end accumulate on this end and the negative charge accumulate on this end so the electron is attracted toward this plus charge so it is easily transferred to here and from here to here so the electron transfer becomes easier in the case of the larger halide ions now in the another case there are another cases in which the opposite order is found for example it is found in the case of fe plus 2 co nh3 whole 5 x plus 2 complexes and another example is eu plus 2 versus co nh3 whole 5 x plus 2 ion in both the reactions if we carry out the reaction between these two reactants then we find the different order opposite order why because in these cases we see the stability of the transition state that is formed so greater the stability of the transition state formed faster will be the reaction so in these cases opposite order is found so this is all about the inner sphere reaction mechanism thank you